Hey, what's up guys, it's Nikki Bra. Today we are going to talk about the three main things why people destroy their hormones. It often happens during puberty because this is the most potent age for someone to get a proper balance for hormones. Meaning when someone enters puberty, male or female, um, there's a wave of hormones coming and depends on your lifestyle, on your nutrition, on your, let's say, mindset. This is how hormones adjust long-term and this is the most potent time where this happens. So today, three things, the three main things, so to say, because there are many, um, why this happens. And we will take puberty as the example because puberty is the main potent time where this adjustment, where this balance happens that will stay for a long time as a baseline if you don't know what to do to repair when damage is happening. So, I am here in Greece and when I go to the beach nowadays, I see for example, um, let's say guys who are in the puberty and they have wide hips for example or, or a lot of fat sitting on their hips. This is for example a sign of high female hormones. As well, you can see, well, females that don't look super, uh, how to say, feminine, so to say. So now, during, well, start of 21st century, nutrition quality is going down. <clears throat> People, or let's say the young guys, they don't go and uh, do sports anymore, basically. When you go outside, you never see people or like uh, young guys playing football, soccer, basketball, whatever. It became a rarity. So this uh, as a small overview that you see that slowly something is happening with society and hormones are declining in general. So males, they don't, they don't have the testosterone levels they used to have. Females, they don't have the estrogen, prolactin, progesterone levels they used to have because something is also happening in society. So three main points. First of all, nutrition quality and nutrition choice. So nutrition quality in general is dropping all the time. And food choice as well, that when young guys grow up during puberty, they have no concept of nutrition whatsoever, meaning they don't know what they should eat. They just eat whatever looks fine on Instagram or whatever. They eat like frozen yogurts and donuts with uh, chocolate sprinkles or whatever, but it's no quality. And a 14, 15, 16 year old, when he's in purity, he has no idea about nutrition. He has no concept whatsoever. Yes, maybe you're watching, not, you're not 14 years old, but it's still the same concept applies basically. That if you're 24, 34, 44, the same principles apply to you. If you don't have a proper food choice, then your hormones will decline more and more. So point number one is basically that food choice and food quality is not the best. It is declining all the time. Um, so basically the hormones are dropping because they don't get the building blocks anymore, meaning how should testosterone go up for a 14 year old boy when he's just eating donuts and frozen yogurts or soy yogurts or whatever, soy pro protein or whatever. So you need to have the building blocks. Point number two is that I don't want to get into politics and so on, but in general, like there's no necessity for people anymore to get strong hormones, meaning uh, when someone is in a very comfortable situation um, or let's say he has, a, he has a certain type of parent that, that tells him, oh, someone hits you in the face, oh, don't worry, just be calm and, uh, you know, stay away from trouble. So there's kind of soft uh, surrounding going on, like males just get uh, more feminine and this is just a fact. Uh, as I said, I don't want to get into politics, but this is what happens, that young guys who grow up, they are not in an aggressive pool, basically, where they are forced to, to have a drive. They, they are forced to, to push on. They live a comfortable life, they play PlayStation, uh, 
and there's no necessity basically to drive up the testosterone because everything is comfortable. I have my PlayStation, I get money from my parents, I don't need to work, uh, I get my clothes and uh, there's no necessity for aggression basically. Point number three is lack of activity that I mean, I said it already, when you, like 20 years ago, when you went outside, like all young guys were playing soccer, basketball, uh, table tennis, um, whatever. <clears throat> but nowadays everyone is just playing PlayStation, video games, and all this combined, all this combined, bad nutrition, bad food choice, no proper activity, and low aggression, low drive, and very comfortable surrounding, this is what basically is the fundament of low and bad hormones. There is also a fourth aspect, but this only um, kind of applies to girls. This is contraceptive pill. That girls more or less forced nowadays, especially in European countries like Germany, USA, forced by society, by classmates, more or less. We will do another video about this in, in, in detail, but more or less they are forced to take the pill because the doctors really, really recommend. They really know how to convince the parents, so they say, oh yes, our daughter really needs the contraceptive pill. And the girls, obviously, they agree. They agree um, to, to taking the pill. And uh, this ruins hormones uh, long-term, like in a very, very bad way. So potent chemicals, basically. But potent chemicals, more or less, also as the nutritional pathway. Because when, let, let's be honest here, when a 13 or 14 year old guy starts to eat soy yogurts every day and skips eating meat uh, and skips eating the food that is basically the fundament for these hormones, he will get no building blocks to build the hormones. But at the same time, he's like eating soy yogurts and all kind of crap. Um, it's also a chemical process, more or less, so it, uh, it's also in this box. So as you can see, these are the main factors why people grow up nowadays and suddenly they're 18 years old, 19, 20, 25, they have white hips, fat on their hips, low drive, no motivation, depression and so on. So in my opinion, these are the three or three and a half, four factors for this situation right now and it's only getting worse in my opinion because when I went to the beaches 10 years ago, it was not that apparent, but now when you go to the beaches, you see unhealthy people everywhere. It's really sad. If you want to avoid this, or if you want to repair this, if you have this problem, you know who, who to call, it's God of Hormones. You message me on my social media, you check out my Instagram, you check my page, nikibra.com. We get going right away. I will message you after 12 hours, and then I will check up on your situation, I will check up on your goals, we will talk about your problems, and I will deliver a solution for you, because for me this is bread and butter, this is the daily business to remove someone's hips. This is my daily business to rebalance hormones after taking uh, 10 years of contraceptive pill. This is my bread and butter to adjust nutrition, to adjust training, to adjust the mindset and the pool of aggression, so you get perfect results, 100% performance. As I said, message me on social media, nikibra.com or Instagram, for example, at nikibra. We get in touch and we get going. This was Nikibra. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.